Before my initial interview, to be honest with you, I was so nervous. I even had to throw up. I'm sorry about the TMI, but I, I really had to so that, you know, I'd feel more comfortable. And then just after the initial interview, I was like... I've wasted food, Cammy. Like seriously, why did I have to throw up? It was nonsense, really, for me to worry. I'm so excited to introduce to you guys one of the cyberbackers that we have. She's cyberbacker Anya. Hello, Anya. Hi, Cammy. Hi, everyone who's watching. <laughs> Such a lovely face and a lovely voice. Thank you so much, Anya, for this opportunity. I'm so happy. It feels like you're my friend for a long time ago. <laughs> oh, that's so wonderful to hear. I also <laughs> feel the same way. So yeah. Uh, maybe we can catch up. I know you're from Laguna, right? Yes, maybe let's have, you know, a Tagaytay session with some of the cyber backers when it's, you know, much safer to go out there. Yes. And I'm looking forward to meet you in person. I can personally hug you. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> as soon as there's a vaccine uh, yes, <laughs> available. Yes. So, Safety yeah. first. Okay. Yeah. Social distancing first. Okay. Right. So um, I know a lot of people, a lot of friends are excited to hear your story and your journey with Cyberbacker. So um, I'm just curious, mm -hmm. what is your job before Cyberbacker? So before Cyberbacker, I had a career with the BPO industry, I think, for probably almost seven years and then I also used to teach English like five years. Are those online? Merely online setup? I also had experience teaching online. How did you find out Cyberbacker? What leads you to Cyberbacker? So it was December I think of 2018 when I first saw an ad on Facebook and I was like uh, okay so let me check it out. I checked out the page and you know I've seen like really good reviews so i was like if if it's like always like good reviews all throughout i mean is this something that's being just made up or maybe it's you know it's it's just a like a scam <laughs> i hate i hate that word but that's that's what i thought but the thing is like i didn't stop stalking you know posts um, from cyber backers. So from December of 2018 until May, because I was so curious for such a long time, I was praying like, um, Lord, if this is really for me, like, don't let me stop stalking cyber backers. <laughs> I was happy with my work. Like I told you, I really enjoyed um, teaching, but I just couldn't get cyber backer off my mind. And I was like, I need to apply. And then I saw like some posts saying that cyber backer really, like, you know, well and I was like oh Mula this is good <laughs> this is great so I said I will apply and then if I could get in then maybe this is the career change I was looking for so I did apply in May of 2019 and here I am so from stalker to cyber backer <laughs> literally yes. yes that's right Actually, it may be the same experience. Mm -hmm. Even though you've seen this company for a long time ago and just can't resist like checking it every day. And yeah, exactly. Trying to find out if the reviews are real, the feedbacks mm -hmm. are real. So until you have tried and you have experienced what's really with Cyberbacker. Given that you're with the company for almost two years now, um, Anya, how can you describe the culture since you've joined Cyberbacker? I'm sure that Cyberbacker has really uh, a very like helpful culture, but I think one of the traits that attracted me more to Cyberbacker is that when I came in, like there's a culture of humility here. When I talk to like leaders, I mean, you, you couldn't sense that they're like the head of this department or or a team lead because like, let's be honest, in some companies, like you would really feel that there's sort of like... Barrier, uh, right? Yeah, exactly. Could be positions. Exactly. So, um... I wouldn't say I was surprised, but it was it was really great knowing that, you know, we have humble people here and that makes it, you know, easier for me to reach out to people. Not that I find it difficult to reach out, but I mean, like it, it's it's much easier because because sometimes you would feel like uh, if I ask help from this person, um, will I get snubbed or or whatnot, but I haven't experienced it here. 
it's the same experience that I had, especially when I started the home-based job. It's actually my first home-based job. I don't know a lot of things about a virtual setup and such, but it makes your life easier because you know the people that surround you, the people with Cyberback or your colleagues are either to help and assist you with whatever concerns that you have. Even personally, they right. can answer your questions. Even the specs of the computer that they're using, what are their suggestions, what are their advice, with the internet connection, so such things. It's like you're you're just um, talking with a family member or that's a friend true. or a close friend, right? That's true. And that's one thing I loved. And um, Anya, I know with the competition now, especially with this pandemic, that more and more companies are trying the online setup. Yeah. So maybe there are a lot of offers available right now. And um, when we browse it on social media, what made you stay with Cyberback? If I'm gonna be like the truest of form that I can be, it's it's the pay. <laughs> it's the pay. I'm I'm gonna be honest. Like before, like it was so hard for me to work on my emergency fund before. I wouldn't say that the other companies are not paying, you know, well, but with Cyberbacker, well, obviously, um, Cyberbacker, you know, um, paid me more. <laughs> Which is really good. And aside from that, um, what I like about Cyberbacker is that um, the trainings that we received did not only include like trainings for how we can do our tasks better, but um, I really love the financial like masterminds that we're oh, me too, we're right? having with Craig. And I was like, I mean, this is something that you wouldn't expect for a CEO to discuss. Like to share, it, right? Because exactly. it's really. Maybe it's merely more on um, the type of work and tasks that we'll be having in the company. But with the quantum skills or masterminds that we have, we talk about our personal goals and how we can manage our personal finances, right? Right. So yes, the pay and the pay and the training. Cyberbacker doesn't only train us to be like really great cyberbackers, but our company trains us to be, you know, equipped, you know, as a person in whatever dealings we have. May it be personal or work related. So I think that's something that um, a lot of cyber backers can attest to. You mentioned that we have such trainings and learnings with cyber backer. What are the goals that you have achieved since you work from home and since you work with cyber backer? This may sound, you know, corny or too cliche for others, but just a backstory. Before I started with cyber backer, like, I was always very hard on myself, like I always like find fault in what I do, regardless if I did a good job or not. So um, with Cyberbacker, because, you know, our CEO is always sharing, you know, the failures (laughs) that he experienced, you know, you will think like, hey, he he's a CEO. He was able to build this great company, and he did experience a lot of failures. So um, his experience is not too different from mine. Like, what? Why would I think of me as someone who's always failing or someone who's blaming herself for not doing a good job? In Cyberbacker, I think I reached my goal on becoming more confident in what I do and just being okay whenever I experience um, you know some setbacks I'm not saying that I'm perfect that I'm not getting anxious or frustrated whenever I do that but but because Cyberbacker gives me this mindset of you know just keep on going and it doesn't matter if you fail if you had a bad day as long as you you know you go to work the next day and then just do your best then everything will just follow and then um, apart from that, another personal goal, of course, my financial goals. I'm close to reaching my financial goal of like building my emergency fund. Like, I'm now confident that you know whatever financial goal I have next, I'm sure to to achieve it. I'm just so proud of you. You have a lot of achievements ever since you've joined Cyberbacker and. As what you mentioned, the goals that you have, you're achieving it one by one. So congratulations. And I know the bigger goals that you have, definitely, I'm positive that you'll achieve it. 
Yes. Um. Thank you, Cami. And also, you know, if not, you know, if there's a delay or whatnot, I mean, it's not the end of the world. I think um one more mindset. You know, Cyberbacker gives us a lot of like good mindsets, but um one other mindset that Cyberbacker like gave me is the mindset of abundance that you know even if you don't have a lot now there's something that you can always work on so that you'll have a lot later not only financial wise but you know um being rich with you know network um or like being rich with with a lot of like positive ideas that you can you can you know tell yourself whenever you're feeling down so yeah we're being the better version of ourselves like exactly. before there's the big difference before we applied with cyberbacker and you will notice that you you are improving not just with the career path that you have right now but as well with your personal goals and the mindset is very very important especially if you have big goals that you want to achieve and it right. really helps that we have such kind of like sharing and um, also when you mentioned that Craig is um, has some struggles uh, before before he had yeah. cyberbacker before he built cyberbacker um, we know that he's relatable he, right. you know he's a C- CEO but you know that uh, you're on the same you're on the same level that what he exper- that what you're experienced right now he, he had um, he had experienced it as well and he was able to overcome it and that that actually inspired us to 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 move forward and um, to pursue our goals because it's possible Right. Yeah, I really appreciate you know our CEOs like vulnerability because you see CEOs and then you see this like mighty looking person. I'm not saying Craig is not mighty looking. Hi, <laughs> Craig. I'm not saying that. But, but what Craig, I'm saying, I know you're watching. <laughs> but what? But what I'm saying is that you know, um, Greg is just you know is just a person um, like me. So or like like the others. With, with that being said, um, I want to know, um, Anya, what's the best memory that you had with Cyberbacker? Oh, it will definitely be the application process. Um, there were two. So, um, before my initial interview, like, to be honest with you, I was so nervous. Um, I even had to throw up. I'm sorry about the TMI, but I, I really had to. <laughs> I really had to so that, you know, I, I'd feel more comfortable during the initial interview. And then just after the initial interview, I was like, I've wasted food, Cami. Like, seriously, why did I Why did I have to throw up? Like, I, I, was, I was interviewed by one of the most professional, like, people I've I've had encountered so I mean it was it was nonsense really for me to worry and then another one it was with a client so being the anxious self that I'm always experiencing um, I remember like super being super nervous when I had an interview with a client and then after um, like TJ, TJ was my growth backer before. Hi, TJ. So TJ <laughs> Hi, was, TJ. yeah. Hi, TJ. I was very thankful to TJ because he gave us a lot of like tips prior to the interview. So those who are watching, and if you're really scared of like going through interviews, don't be because like even before you get interviewed, you're gonna be coached by our amazing like growth backers. So yeah, so going back, I was so nervous and then I had this interview with my amazing client. And then after that, I was like, TJ, you know what? This client, he's gonna be my client. Like I feel it, I am so confident about it. I am telling you, he's gonna pick me. So just imagine, Cami, the 360 degree turn that happened. Like I was so nervous, and then I was, yes. I was telling my growth backer, he's gonna pick me. And that was just like my first interview with the client. So like, how how arrogant was that, right? So, but but of course, like it was just. It was just that I was so like happy and like I said, um, worrying, worrying isn't isn't a good thing. And I'm sure that for those people who are eyeing to apply to Cyberbacker, I'm sure that maybe one of the reasons why they still haven't applied is because they're nervous. Maybe they think they couldn't do it, but I mean. Based on my experience, I'm still here. I'm not throwing up every day. So, I mean, I'm not throwing up at all. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's the most memorable thing from being too nervous to apply to like being very confident after. 
with what cyberbacker and you have shared worrying won't bring us anywhere so right. if you want it then try it because that's where you'll find out if it's a perfect fit or if there's another opportunity for you even us um me cyberbacker cami and anya um we hesitated right there's a lot of um moments that we have already encountered cyberbacker but we're still thinking is this something that's for me can i do it um is this is this a job that will give me sustainability when it comes to my finances would it be a permanent job that i can have will this help my family would this help my 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 finances so there's a lot of questions that you can have but those won't be answered if you if you don't try right <laughs> Exactly. And I, I think those are really valid concerns that everyone has, especially for someone looking for a dream job. But like what you said, Gabby, um, if I haven't tried, if I haven't tried, then I wouldn't have whatever I have right now. Thank you so much. I have so much to ask you, Anya, for today. But maybe we'll have another session, another sure. part two for this. Because for I, sure. I, I enjoy talking to you and uh, I know a lot of people are enjoying the conversation that we have. But if you guys have questions for Anya, feel free to comment it below and we'll answer <laughs> it on the next session that will have with Anya. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our Cyberbacker YouTube channel. Channel, so you'll be able to catch up as well with other cyberbackers. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you, Cammy.